Our next two speakers will tell us why that's so important. Please welcome Brian Wallach and Sandra Abravaya. In 2008, we met while working on the Obama-Biden campaign. We found our way there because we believe in the power of organizing. Then we found each other. The day we brought our second daughter home from the hospital, Brian was diagnosed with ALS. I was told I had six months to live. That was seven years ago. We could not change Brian's diagnosis, but we knew how to organize. So we co-founded a nonprofit called IMALS, and thousands of terminally ill patients fought for new therapies, $1 billion to fund ALS research, and earlier access to treatments, all of which President Biden signed into law. We will also keep fighting alongside patients living with Parkinson's, young onset dementia, and Alzheimer's. We've seen just how relentless activism can beat the odds, just like what Brian has been doing for seven years. And that is what we need right now to elect Kamala Harris. She's the daughter of a breast cancer researcher. She knows the promise of science and that patients need to be able to get the care they need wherever they live. We all want to make life better for the next generation and believe that people like Brian can be the first generation of survivors. And we can make life better for our caregivers too. Brian and I are still driven by hope and by faith in what we can do collectively. And that includes the power of our vote. This November, we are voting for our future. Because we plan to be around for it.